it's I rock time. Yep, I'm tired of waiting. That motor's wrong. I've been trying for two days to put that motor in. There's no way that it should be that hard to put a Buick motor in. It's the wrong motor again. I'm not messing with it. Got away from the house and everything. Asked my girlfriend's uh, dad and stuff like that if I can come down here and mess with the old Rye Rock. And he says, no problem. So we are messing with the I Rock. Yes, sir. There it is. All right, let's see here. Let's get y'all at a good angle. We're just going to see what we can do with it today. Man, she is dust. What do y'all think? Is this a she or is this a he? Messing me. Okay, we got a brand new fender for her. Man, she got 25 years of dust. So what y'all think with her, huh? We gotta fix the uh, gotta fix the windshield, as y'all see. Um, crap! I forgot to take the damn garbage can because I wanted to take that out. Oh yeah, well, we'll do that another day. Uh, right now, we we'll just I've never really looked at this car. So, I am taking a breather today, and we are going to look at it. Now, this does have the uh, Chevy 350 in it, as I said before. I did. I did run the numbers. So, that's cool. Man, 25 years, guys. Can you believe it? 25 years. Holy hell. This is uh, by far, by far the longest vehicle I've ever messed with. The longest sitting vehicle I've ever messed with. Okay, boy, it's tight. Alright, I'm going to see this structural support here. Take a look at it and check it out. Get y'all up over here real quick. I'm just gonna use the stick. All right, here we go. Let's see here. Oh. Fender's a little crumpled. That's not bad. That doesn't look nothing broke there. I don't see anything broke. Nothing pushed in. We're going to take the plugs out of this and I want to look at the plugs. Now, guys, I don't know how long now. It's been sitting here for 25 years, but they bought it at an auction like this. 25 years ago so don't really know how long it's been since it's been running I see the tires kind of caved in a little bit so we might need to take that off and check it out but the damage really is not bad we have another door we have another fender I mean the main part is like right here the fascia That'll pop back out. I'm not worried about that. That's not broke. The black trim on the bottom right there, that's, that's not broke. Now, this right here, we can actually bang that out and actually smooth that back out. So, I mean, it didn't, uh, I don't see that it did anything frame-wise. I don't see nothing. It seems really solid. So, all right, guys, we are going to put y'all a little closer. Let's 
This is what I want to do today. I want to mess with the Buick. There we go. So yeah, everything, I mean, it's down here on the bottom. And I'm going to show y'all guys there in a little bit. This bottom's folded. Perfect. That's what we got to worry about when we get it on the trailer because it's very expensive as hell. Well, I tell you what, where they hit it was actually in a perfect spot for one of these to get hit. I mean, really, it's... I mean, the main part of the wreck, I mean, it's nothing there. So, happy about that. I wish they had a fan on it so I could see if the motor would turn. So, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take a spark plug out. Boy, I can't wait to get this damn thing running. I can't wait to get it out of here. I want to take another look around, but let's see if we can't get that spark later out of here. Let's see. I don't know nothing about these twin port injection systems. Hey guys, everything on this car looks original. Ooh, the throttle body opens. Hmm. <laughs> the brake reservoir. Oh shit, there's brake fluid in it. For being sitting for 25 years. Well, I mean, it's sitting in a garage. They were sitting outside for a little while, but mainly been sitting in the garage. But I want to get Wow. The amount of dust on this damn car, though. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, this is what I want to do. Ah. And, uh,. I need to get hood latches too. Gotta get some hood latches or hood hinges. Which is weird. I never bought a car without a hood hinge. But yeah, this is damage. This is just really weird, guys. I mean, it's just weird. And it looks like, I don't know, I mean, none of this stuff in here is like pushed back. I mean, none of it. It might, yeah, it might be a little bit. I don't think so. Huh. I don't know. I might have to do a little something, but I don't think nothing major. It's worth saving. But. And I looked it up last night, and this car is only 33 years old. So, if it was wrecked when they bought it 25 years ago, then um, it couldn't have been sitting that long after that. I mean, it's got 88,000 original miles on it, so, I mean, it couldn't have been sitting very long after that so it's almost like somebody just got the insurance money and ran so we need to take well i seriously forgot how hard it is to take the plugs out of these I think 
just takes regular CP 350 spark plugs, don't it, guys? Um, we got now this is an 87, so I would think that it would have the. Uh, Guys, there is something inside my sparkulator tool.
All right, let's go moving along, guys. There's one on the very back side. I can't get it right now. I mean, holy hell, guys. Let me show you how tight this is if y'all don't know. Now I know, now I know why Mustangs outsold the Camaro. It wasn't just because of the performance. Y'all see that? All that vacuum shit and smog shit. 1980 specialty. Yeah, I can't get my big ass hands in that far back hole to get that spark plug without a one inch extension. I don't exactly know how they did it back in 1987, but that one is a pain in the ass. Alright, um, Theo would like to get this thing to roll over it is now. I don't know if I want to with that spark plug still in there. Uh, let's see how hard it is to get this side out. Guys, I don't think we're gonna be doing this shit today because it looks like that the radiator hoses and everything are in the way. Well, we're not doing this side today. Whoops, shit. Yeah. Show y'all real quick. The radiator hoses and the heater hoses are just right in the way down there. And all that's gotta come out. And that smoke pump. I think once we get all that stuff out, it'll be okay. This air conditioner is locked up. So I really don't think there's any. I might tap it a little bit and see if I can't get that unlocked. But if not, then there ain't no sense having that on there neither. So AC gone. That smoke pump down there most definitely gone. Um, maybe figure out something to do with all these damn... It has got to be easier to change the plugs in it. We've got to make it easier. Holy shit. Should be able to get all that smog stuff off this car. There's no reason why them lines should be there. Yeah. I think they called that, what, California Mission? Alright. Let's see here. Oh, I didn't know the gas door was missing. Oh, here, let me get you a better grip of your guy there. Oh, there we go. The gas door is missing. Uh, I think it might be here somewhere. I bet it's here somewhere. Let's go back inside. There's the old auction numbers. Take a better look at this interior. Oh, yeah, it does have the upgraded interior. Oh, it smells in here. Yep. The original stereo, that's still crazy for this car. Yeah, it doesn't have a uh, Kind of weird, the code said it also had Italian leather, maybe, oh yeah, this. That's what it is, I'm thinking. It said it had Italian leather, something on the door, oh, that's broke, that sucks. 
I think I can fix that though. Seats are really nice. Power seats. Yep. Yep. I wanted to get the damn plugs out of here so I can let it sit for a while, but yeah, there's just no damn way right now. All right, let's look at the dish. Damage one more time. So we got some light. Yeah. Yeah, they ain't gonna be horrible. Well, they came close from busting out that back glass, didn't they? Yeah, this ain't gonna be hard. Just a little cleaning. I think she could be saved. So that's the worst. I must have hit something really low. But luckily, they didn't uh, hit nothing too important. Everything looks the same. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and put everything up. I'm going to um, I think it's supposed to rain again, is it like? It sucks. Um, I want to grab the, uh, yeah, I think I'll probably going to grab this stuff another day. Take it home. Yep, won't be long, guys. Just got to find a company that sell me a motor for that damn Buick Enclave. All right. I'll see y'all later. Oh, wait a minute. Let's check the oil in this damn thing real quick. Let's do some fluid checking. Let's see. Let's get y'all. Don't want to look and do some fluid checking, huh? You don't want to do some fluid checking with me? Let's start with the, uh, come on here. Let me grab my phone so we can see what we're doing. Coolant after all these years. Oh, look at there. Yeah, it looks, definitely looks like it needs to be flushed out, but it's got green coolant in it. And then, oh, that seemed rusty. Oh, boy, it's got oil in it, but holy shit, is it black. Surprisingly, it doesn't smell like gas, though. Need some lube. Okay. Transmission. What does this look like? Transmission fluid actually looks. It smells really good. Holy hell, cool. So, and I think new plugs, new wires, all that happy shit. I was wanting to get it turned over today, guys, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, uh, but all oh, the fluids look good. So this tire is a cock died a little bit that way. Is this one is? Uh, no, it's kind of straight. I'm thinking we have some bent tie rod action going on here and a couple other things. But I don't see nothing structural. Like this piece right here, this bracket here is still straight. All that's still straight. Looks like this might be bulked up a little bit from right here. But I don't see nothing frame-wise. Nothing. Alright guys, I guess that's it. T-top. I'm glad there ain't nothing wrong with those. Alright. I don't know what that is back there. Well, this ain't going to be fun taking out of here. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, it won't be too long. We'll have it. Later. Hey guys, I shut the hood so we can actually look. And I don't really... It's got some...
actually going on there, but I mean it's actually hood don't line up too bad at all. Don't line up too bad at all. It's got a little something here on the corner. I ain't nothing. Huh. It's kind of weird why this little damage right here would take this car out of commission for this many years. Man. I think this looks good. Well, it looks like we're missing one of the fog lights too, but that's okay. Alright. I wonder if we could, uh, let's look at the back of this fucker real quick. Have you ever been to the very back of this car yet? Yeah, actually. Can use that. I might ask him if he wants to sell that. Let me see. Ow. Okay, I'm going to move this Okay. There it is, guys. 5.7 turn port, tune port. Yeah, that hotel light's completely missing over there. Does this thing have a... There's no way. Y'all guys see what I see? It ain't got a trailer hitch on it. Huh? Okay, well... That's one thing that's coming off. Oh. See if I can't... Yep, got the brand new rim in there. There you go. Awesome. Ow. Alright guys, I just wanted to see that 5.7 on the back of this. That's cool. That's confirmation even more. Man, I got a lot of shit I gotta carry out. Holy hell. Alright guys. We get off of here, and it won't be long. It won't be long at all. Later.